What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to be going over my top tweaks on the iOS 10.2 jailbreak. So this is my iPhone 6 right here, jailbroken on 10.2. The link to that video will be in the description. So I just want to do this video real quick because most of these tweaks you have seen before. But I just want to show you guys that they are up to date and they are working. So this will be part one of my top tweaks. So it's going to be 12 tweaks all together. So the first one is barrel. This is it right here. You could configure this in settings. Right now I have it on random. So basically when you switch pages, you can see all different animation when I switch a page. So that one is done with barrel. And then number two will be CC low power. CC low power as in CC as in control center. When I slide up my control center, if I want to put it in low power mode, I have that right there. Just tap on that icon and you can see I'm in low power mode right there so let's turn that off that's CC low power and number three will be CC record CC record basically lets you do a screen record right from your control center if you look in the corner right there you have that record in order a record um, icon tap right there and basically you see it's on it's recording right now and then when, I, when I'm done hold on this thing is tripping out it's off. I go to my photos, and there should be a video in there of the whole control center thing working. That's the other one. Just like that, and that one is called CC Record. And number four is called Clear Dock. If you look at the dock right here, as you can see, it's clear. I mean that rhyme. Look at the dock right here. It's clear. Okay, so there you go. That one is called clear dock. And number five is called cream. If I slide up my control center and I toggle these on, you can see they all have a different color. Just like that. If I put on low power mode, everything has a different color. And that one is called cream too. Links to all that. All the names will be in the description. So that one is called cream too. So let's turn that off. And if I go to settings. Scroll down. You can see barrel. You can see cream. Basically, you could go in there. You could set up the color as as you like. So that one is called cream two. And number six is called dark number badge. If you look at my the badges, you can see the number is dark. the The whole thing is in red, but the number is dark instead of white. And that one is called dark number badges. So my next one is called photocon. Photocon is basically the last photo that you took in your f photos, basically the last picture you took, when you go to your photo icon, that's going to be the picture off your photo icon. So let's take a picture real quick. Sometimes it takes a while to activate. I'll take a picture on my iPhone 7 Plus. Take a picture right there. It hasn't switched yet, but if I close it. Sometimes it takes a while to to activate, but let's go on our app. Like sometimes it takes a while for it to actually show up, but it will actually switch over to to that folder, to that photo. But sometimes it takes a while to show up, but by the end of the video I'm pretty sure it's gonna be there. And yeah, so that one is called Foldicon takes a while to show up but it is what it is and number eight is called power color if you look at the color let's go up here let's turn off low power mode you see that that color up there of the, the icon now it's in, it's in it's in yellow so basically what that does it if I go here scroll down power color it gives you the option to set it up so I got 100% at green 95 at yellow so in the 89 is 95 at purple so in the 89 percentage it's like that yellow color right there and then the lower it goes it's gonna go to blue then it's gonna go to that color I mean that's how that works and that one is called power color and then 
number nine is called repower. Repower is this. So if I go to toggle power, I get that right there. I mean, instead of just the slide to power off, I get slide to reboot and respring all together in the same thing. So let's exit out of that. Close that one out. And then number 10 is called slide to kill 9 slide to kill 9 let me get some focus on here real quick if I double tap and I want to kill all the apps at once all I have to do is just slide down and look all the apps are gone all the apps are gone and that's called slide to kill 9 it does work on iOS 10 and then number 11 is called status switcher so status switcher if I go to my app switcher you can still see the status bar usually Let's close this out. If I go to my app switcher on my iPhone 7, you see that the, the status bar is gone. But on this one, the status bar is there. The status bar is gone. The status bar is there on this one. So that one is called status switcher. And then the next one I'm going to show you guys is called toucher. Toucher is a real cool tweak that lets you use your Apple Touch ID basically like a button but without pressing the actual button so I could double tap and it bring me to my app switcher if I, I could double tap and hold and it'll close it so all these is done from right here and you can see Photocon it actually now it has the the last picture I took which was the phone it's in a bad orientation but it's on there now Let's get back to toucher. So toucher, you could do a triple tap on hold. Hold on. And it'll take a screenshot. So all these things, just like that, it'll cold, it'll close. Let's open it up. Screen. So all these things you could do, you could just like go to the app switcher. Just like that. So all these things you could do with toucher so those are my 12 tweaks guys and you can see it switched right there to the screenshot because I took a screenshot so that's for Photicon so the last picture you took it takes a while to activate sometimes but it does work so those are my 12 tweaks barrel CC low power CC record clear dap cream 2 dart number badge Photicon power color repower slide to kill 9 status switcher and toucher. All those tweaks work on the latest Yalu jailbreak for 10.2. So there you go guys. If you like this video, definitely thumbs up. Peace. Thanks for watching.